tunachotaka ni we ni we wetu tunachotaka ni we ni we wetu hata ya moyo wangu yesu hata ya moyo wangu Tone la maji ilivyo nafsi yangu nisipo usema na we ulivyo moyo wangu nisipo ushiriki na we kama soma yake nje ya bahari sina
worship this morning.
enough, more than enough, the all-sufficient God. You deserve the worship, you deserve the honor, you deserve the power. Lord, we worship and exalt your name. Oh, oh, yeah. One more time. I'm telling you. Glory to the Lamb of Kuna the Lord. Kuna huya praise God. Raushua team say hi to Emma. She is my favorite kwanza. Uwa wimbo wake na chotaka. Uwa unanibariki sana. It's even my ringtone and morning devotion tune up to now. Juliet kutoka nakuru. Asante sana Juliet. Niko na mgini mwenye nasema hello. 
mema hiyo wimbo oh. wako ni poa Isi salimia ema. wenzako i love that song ni babra kutoka machakos na watch mbc tv ni salimie ah sawa sawa all right ah, yeah. and asema <laughs> enjoying the worship may god continue to shine his grace upon the band thank you asante sana asante sana niko na mimi mwenyewe anasema hi laura and kamiti no say hi to emma her song ministered to me nachotaka wow. when my child was in icu wow. in the year 2018 wow. i can't forget uh wow. ha, how god used that song to help me in that season wow. ni mama wow. gloria kutoka ruiru Wow. So mtoto alikuwa ICU. Mtoto alikuwa ICU. So humbling, I swear. I know. Yeah. And of course God came through. God came through in a very mighty way. Wow. Umesema impact, that's what you say. Yes. Impactfulness. Yes. Praise God to Mraushwa. Agnes kutoka Nairobi, mpe Emma high five. Sasa sijui nitampeaje. <laughs> Anasema she always uh, unasema unabarikiwa naye sana with her songs. Niko tuned mm. hadi tamati nikiwa na Paul Kenovia. Asante sana. Niko na mume mwenye anasema hi Emma, nakupenda tu bure. Asante sana kwa wimbo zako. Mm-hmm. Asante sana. Good morning and praise God. Amen. Love your work especially the team there. Can you please explain to us what alami means? Ah. Alami means I worship you. I worship you. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. Sasa so, umejibiwa. So, Uko wapi? Eh eh. Umejibiwa Emma. Tueleke. With so many testimonies being heard from your songs. Yeah. As a human being it's very easy for me to feel proud right. and nijisikie tu right. now for you as a minister of god how do you prevent kiburi sikuingie first of all unaelewa kwamba wewe ni chumbu yes mm. na una manufaa ama una faida ama thamana mm-hmm. sababu kristo anaweza kukutumia yes number two, there is that temptation of kutaka ku kujisikia mm-hmm. namna fulani yes but you see glory is a divine thing it is supernatural yeah my nature is natural yes mm. so siwezi ku accommodate glory wow my nature is too heavy for my nature yeah so what do i do when i hear such testimonies mm-hmm. i take it to god and tell him please give bring it back in a form that i can handle mm. fulfillment mm. Mm. joy mm. yes you know like when you hear those testimonies i'm telling yeah. they're very humbling you mm-hmm. go to a place someone says we were looking for a child for years mhm tuliomba na mungu wa ishara tukapata kijana tunamuita kiama ishara i Amen. swear yeah. i've read the testimonies <laughs> on my youtube i'm like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's very humbling mm-hmm. but you, uneka kwa akili kwamba wewe ni chombo tu. Yes. Pasipo na hiyo neema ambayo Mungu ameweka kwa maisha yako. Mm-hmm. Sina thamana. I mean mm-hmm. who'd know me for what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> If it wasn't for Christ. Mm-hmm. Yes. Unajua kwa kazi gani? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So nina thamana leo sababu Kristo yes. ananitumia. Yeah. Yeah. So you take the glory to him he gives you in a form that you can handle. Yes. <laughs> Because ukikunywa hiyo glory utasahau kwa nini? Kupata famous. Yeah. You forget why you even celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Not even yeah. like songs because you feel yeah, so you big. Go. Exactly. Yeah. And ah, then nice. you start all the dramas in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Anasema Raushwa Graham Buhaya. Uh-huh. Na kwamba kuna wakati tumekuwa naye pia. Yeah. 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 Anasema hapa nabarikiwa sana. Emma is such a blessing to this generation Amen. and to the body of Christ. Say hi to my good friend Hilda. Hilda. Kuna Hilda. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Niko na Jackson Mukana kutoka Kware. Wow. Ongata Rongai. Anasema hi MBCI. Salimia Emma. Wow. I like her songs. Amen. Asante sana. Okay. Yes. Kuna mwingine hapa ambaye anasema mwelekezo utakuwa tunaambia muda kwa sababu pia Good morning Tim Raushwa show. Iko sawa I love songs za Emma kwanza na Jotaka ni wewe. Mm-hmm. I used to sing kwa church God bless you all. Amen. Niko na Irene anasema hi guys. Ah. Na kuambia Mungu amekuinua amekuinua sana wimbo hiyo uhimidiwe endelea kumwaminia. Wow, mm-hmm. very wonderful. Mm-hmm. Asante sana. Kuna mwingine hapa, he huyu eh, hata sitataja na hata hiyo story sitamuulizia hapa hewani. Hiyo atasoma alafu labda akinipa majibu nitajua vile nitayaweka. Sawa sawa. Kwani kuna rumors kwa grade? Ni address. Hiyo hiyo, ah hiyo ndio kuonyesha iko na hapo. Nisa ndakuonyesha. I love unasikia vitu kama Mombasa tena. So ndakuonyesha. I'm very blessed by the worship Daniel Moshui kutoka Maua Kinyanka. Sasa uko ni wapi? Ni Meru ama ni wapi? Kinyanka. All right. All right. Niko na mume mwenye anasema thank you Emma you have prepared us for the Kesha that is ahead of us. Asante sana kwa ujumbe wako. 
<laughs> Nachotaka ni wewe is the only song that keeps me going nikikumbuka mahali nimetoka. Amen. Kama sio Yesu sijui ningekuwa wapi. Na sijui leo ni aje mnapitia shortcut ya kutosema wewe ni nani na kule ambako una text from. Hepa, 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 Aya. Hepa, from now mpaka tumalize kipindi high jump. High jump. All right. Aya niko na mwingine mwenye anasema pe, anaitwa Paris Kibali anasema wow love the show the worship the minister. Mm-hmm. Eh hey, murudi na yeye huko nimezama. Yes. Asante sana kwa ujumbe wako. And Emma you have to tell us something about nachotaka ni wewe because yeah. Masilini Minza bado kutoka Kisumu City amerudi akisema wow enjoying alafu unasema kwanza huo wimbo anachotaka ni wewe huo wimbo huwa una minister to me directly now mm-hmm. that begs the question yes how was that song birthed yeah uh, nachotaka is is not just a song mm-hmm. nasema anachotaka ni simu ambayo nilifika kwa maisha yangu wewe mwenyewe sasa mimi wema mm-hmm. niko na uh, wakati unashinda ku, kukuwa na mtu kwa mahusiano mm-hmm. and the only thing you can do is to ask and ask and ask yeah. without really thinking yule mwingine pia anazapenda huduma hizo ambazo unahitaji from them yes right mm-hmm. yeah. so i felt kila siku siwezi kuwa naomba mahitaji kwa mm-hmm. Mungu siku zote what if this time round mm-hmm. ni jipeani mhm naelezo akipaza sauti ukishike kwa e, okay ni mm-hmm. jele ni ehe ni jilete mwenyewe Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm not coming this time to give a need mm-hmm. because umetatua Mungu ametoa mbali. Mm-hmm. Amefanya mengi. Anata sipofanya chochote next. Ashafanya. Amefanya mob. Mm-hmm. So like I'm really contented with that. So I told God, I want to just give you my undiluted worship. You know when you worship God for who he is, mm-hmm. is bound to reveal what he has kwako. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ukimwabudu Mungu manake ni mkarimu you, like it goes extra oh, yeah. so with the understanding that Christ is a full package mm-hmm. so nikimpata Kristo napata kila kitu mm-hmm. so siwezi kuwa kwa bahari lakini nalia na, na kiu doesn't make I sense mm-hmm. so if you have Christ mm-hmm. anything else that I would need even before I ask the bible says you, you really it. know oh. right so yes. what is the essence of asking tuna tunauliza kazi gani <laughs> kama before we even you already know tunauliza yeah. kazi gani ina maana anataka tushiriki zaidi yes than just kumuomba yeah. because hata kabla uombe anajua ashajua kwa hivyo anataka uhusiano so that is a song that is birthed from a relationship with yeah. god mm-hmm. and it was so simple like i remember writing it in beats na mka usiku na imba na zote anywhere to na lala na mka tena asubuhi time zangu yes haja ya moyo wangu and i'll listen to those words again i begin to just cry yeah. like all i want is you ndio kuna fika time in your life umejaribu kila kitu umezunguka umefanya kila kitu yeah na before ni, you know this is the, like the song ambayo ni find ka blow up yeah mm-hmm. nilikuwa nimeandika nyimbo mbeleni nyingi <laughs> hazipigi mm-hmm. i'm like what what is this is too much So you go to a prayer center uh-huh. and you begin to just ask God itakuwaaje uh-huh. na kutaka wewe uh-huh. nimejaribu kuandika hizi nyimbo hazipigi yes. all i want is you yani unaomba paka unapata kisungu uh-huh. na unashikilia kitanda tu bado unaomba ra da da unaendelea kuhitaji i need you yeah. and the, the best thing about it god came through uh-huh. and I didn't even think this would be the song. You need yeah. zile za you know acha tuniimbe. Mhm. Watu wawili wakiona kwa YouTube sawa. Wasipona pia sawa as long as God ako sawa. Yeah. And th- that becomes the song ambayo imeni blow up yeah. wow. because it, it gets new every day. Amen. I'm telling you. Right. Unajua ni kama ni Friday mbili we had Baton King. Right. Yeah. Kuna huu wimbo ambao alitoa niwe wa baraka. Mm. He told us about the history of that song. <laughs> alisukumwa kuifanya like a producer offered <laughs> to record that song for free and then button is like okay let me just what you need fine again at the time unafika kama msaidi ya ali ali alimba tu naomba niwe baraka kwa hiyo let me be here no hiyo ndio mungu alifanya na mimi sanayo unachoka akili from an artist point of view unachoka akili you've tried ukitaka ku hit songs you hit okay no unataka ukauke pia unachoka akili na I think hapo ndipo Mungu anafu, ana, anafika anaona huyu. Ukifika mwisho wako naye anaanza. Ha! Twende sasa. I'm telling you. <laughs> so niacho ulikuwa unaandika tu mara yeah. hivi mara. Kwanza kwa matri. Yeah. <laughs> ah, unatapata words unaandika. Unaandika. <laughs> yeah. Like I wrote it 2 years before I recorded. 2 years. Yeah, I wrote on my soul. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so ilika tu. Ndani na mtu. Okay. 2 years. I record I recorded 2 years after writing it. Mm-hmm. Aha. Uh-huh. Then it becomes a hit two years later. <laughs> Close to four years. I think later. two years is my 
Lucky number. I'm telling you. All right. Her ministry is a blessing to me. I look up to her. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way. Eh. Eh. We were also having a conversation with um, Jemima Thiongo, yeah. and she spoke something about collabos. I can mention something to do with collabos. I can say, Kuna mtu ambaye akimona Emma kwenye TV. Anatamani sana ashirikiana na wewe mwimbe. Yes. Okay? Mm. Not because kwa sababu anataka huu umbo uwe na impact. Ni kwa sababu anaona Emma is a brand. Yeah. And so singing mm. na yeye itanifanya ni brand. Yes. And Jemima said one thing very clear. Akasema ya kwamba sio mwimbaji ambaye hufanya mtu ajulikane. The one who introduces you to the world, it is God himself. Yes. Right. Na that is why she's always very careful when it comes to collabos. Emma Umonge, when it comes to collabos, how do you take them? Do you have any? I don't take a different route. Ni you. You see, collabos, I know people number was alimia ni leo. Kisa, collabo. Ah. Lazima muile wane. Lengo lenyu ni lipi wakati mnaanza kufanya kolabo hizi yes. ama kolabo hii. Mm -hmm. And ndo mtu afanye kolabo na mimi eti ndo ahiti, yoni kunitumia vibaya. Mm -hmm. Sababu, you see, my grace cannot work for you. Yeah. My grace is designed for my path. Mm -hmm. Kuna njia yangu. Hii nema mbo ni kuna inatoshana tu na njia yangu. Mm -hmm. So, ata ni kiku, ata, ata ni kiku drag into my lane, unaza kosa kuyelewa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kuna hado za kuruka, kuna wakati watu analia, kuna wakati mm -hmm. nasikia, I'll throw in the towel, nime choka na uduma. Mm -hmm. So, will you stand it? Kila mtu anapathi yake. Mm -hmm. And, you see like Elijah and, and Elisha's story, I believe, ndo, ndo, nabia weze kumuachilia that mantle. Mm -hmm. Ina na kitu ndani. Mm. You see, even if I mentor Asha today, I always kwa mibaji. True. Because mm -hmm. ana hiyo, mm -hmm. si pati yake, unaelewa? Mm -hmm. So, ata kisemu ta, kama we ni mdogo tu, sisi kufanya kuwa mkubwa. Kama mungu alisema utapiga mwaka huu, mm -hmm. tufanya ata kolabo na nani, the, the top most. Mm -hmm. Kama si wakati wa mungu, unapoteza mda, yes. na utanza kublemu watu. Mm -hmm. So can we just focus on God's time? If God says crawl, crawl. Wa, crawl. If God says run, usiku na crawl, wakatataka run. No, usiku na run when it's supposed to be crawling because there's a time that you'll be needed mm -hmm. kukimbia. Utaku umexhaust strength yako ya kukimbia wakati wakukrawl. Mm -hmm. So umekimbia, kume kuna uh. kukimbia hapo mbele. You know, you like your strength oh. of God. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. So focus on God's time, focus on God's seasons. Yeah. Yeah. So that uku in line. Mm. Usi, 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 usi imbe wakati nafuwa kunyamaza Na usi nyamaza wakati nafuwa kuimba yes. You are okay. majira So if I come to you because I want Ni kutumia wewe kwenye video Tukimba na wewe Kamete and Emma <laughs> Na kutumia vipaya The motive Kama lengo lako matters. ni yes. kuhit uh -huh. Kama lengo lako ni kutumia kila mbacho ni konacho Bila, yani I don't even know about it Yeah Ukinitumia viba ni vibaya mm. Because unataka kuimba na mimi kwa sabu gani Doni, Because and by the way, it's a hit song. Ukita, utaka kuchoka akili. Na kukesha kwa studio. Andika ma hit songs. Utachoka akili. Utahema. What is a hit song? Tuwanze ya po. What is a hit song? Inuwa mikono. Hit song ni nini? Tuwanze ya po. Zunguka. You know. Ni kuji yo chokesha akili. Yeah. So, you wait upon the Lord. Na kusikiza kama mungu na kuambia kimbia. Wacha kukuro. Yeah. Aki kuambia crawl, wacha kukimbia. Yes. Manaki ya kisema crawl, kuna kukimbia pombele na umi anza kukimbia. Sasa tena ukisikia kimbia. Mnuzima, pardon? You know, and... <laughs> Come again. You know, have you ever been approached by people wanting to do collabs and yeah, what yeah. do you always tell them? I take my time. And I've, I've never been like openly wanting to do a collab. Mm -hmm. I think I need to just build myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, of course, I will do them. 
Yes. But at the right time. Aha. With the right people. Yeah. Staki hizo makolabo ambazo kesha tusalimiane. Mhm. Makolabo ambazo kesha yeah tunaonana hivi na kuona hivi unapita huko mimi napita huko hivi. So what is the point? Aitukuzi Mungu tena. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Na kwambia kabisa that people don't even greet. Sasa tumesikia wengine mnaenda kwenye chombo cha habari unasema tulifanya wimbo na so and so yeah. alafu akaniruka sijui nini. Alikuruka. <laughs> Hapo ndio umemalizana na wao. Okay. Karibu tuna 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 tunamaliza yes. anasema huyu ni morning committee and Nell and the Good great morning. team Emma is a blessing to our generation. Amen. Uh, is the one who mm, kana mi mokozi Yesu. Yes. Ah, Siju umeuliza swali lipi hilo ndio kwa right. vizuri. Ha twende. Aya niko hapa na Maureen Mushai mwenye anasema I love this. Christ is the full package. Mm. Asante sana kwa ujumbe wako. Asante sana. And then pia nimemuona mtu hapo ambaye anasema mm. mimi ni Julie. Yes. Unasema unashukuru sana. Uh, unatoka sijui ni kamombi ama ndo wapi huku. Asante uh-huh. sana kwa Asante sana. Ujumbe wako. Niko na Tosh Jesse mwenye anasema powerful vessel of God. Uh, glory unto God. Yeah. Amen. Na pia kuna mwingine hapa sijui niliona niliona alikuwa anja hapa sijui alikuwa anja pita sijui nani. Jumbe eh. nyingi hapa uh-huh. ambaye alikuwa ameuliza at when should uh yeah yeah na wengine na sisi pia you know uh, to subiri when are you going to do at a live oh. session ehe uh-huh. first of all live sessions tukumbushane zinahitaji do uh-huh. you don't wake up one morning you do a live record it's expensive mm-hmm. lazima ujarange yes mm-hmm. lakini nitatengeneza pay bill ni, nikimbize kwa social media mchange wapi kamera nyumbani mimi mm-hmm. <laughs> hapa ndio ile pale mchange <laughs> <laughs> Ukiamini you do vizuri unataka tufanye live recording jamani changa tafanya pay bill <laughs> maana kinahitaji hela hapo si anointing it's very expensive anointing uh-huh. nzuri uh-huh. but you need money Extra. to interpret anointing yeah. kwa inaweza kubariki watu yeah. so the keep asking that na shitwa naenda kwanza kwa ndio afanyie video tena ya kawaida mm. <laughs> So like, so live live recording is very very yeah, expensive. expensive yeah and then it entails a lot of work yeah you don't know the work that goes behind the scenes yeah it's it's really a lot of work mm. but of course we are up for the challenge yeah but we take our time mm. we like i said quality time. things just yeah. take time there you go sia tuna rush kwa sababu tunaenda na season ya mwingine venye umesema grace yako na path yako enda nayo mm-hmm. all right now yes. ningetaka sana kujua tuko na muda kiasi gani kutoka upande ule mwingine wa studio ni ndipo tusije tukakatika tuko hewani bado <laughs> but True. nataka tuingie tufanye birthday right. tuimbe tu kijumla jumla okay no problem uh, you know and the last time i remember i sang Naye hapa hapa hiyo. Eh? Mama aliniuliza eh. unaimba kigani. <laughs> so today ah. I cannot dare. <laughs> so leo tutajamaza. So, so, you have you know a very powerful so, team. Tutakuwa tunaingia hapo. Eh ndani ya birthday. Ah good, we have 20 minutes. Oh, Kwa hivyo nice. nikumbusha tukimaliza birthday tufanye today's inspiration mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. the flow uh, is there. Emma afanye parting shot yake mm-hmm. kutupea nini 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 and then after that kama dakika kumi zitabaki za yes. kuimba kuimba na kule kwamba itakuwa ni bora zaidi yeah, right? Sawa kabisa. So si tuingie kwenye birthday. birthday. Hashtag #birthday wewe ni nani kutoka wapi na ni ujumbe gani ambaye uko nayo? Leo ikiwa ni siku yako ya kuzaliwa kwa nambari zetu 0721105502384 na pia kwenye MBCI TV Facebook page kwenye comment section. There you go to the year. There you go. Yes. Okay. Right. Now kwa sababu ya muda eh. na pia Leo hawezi tu. Nimeona tu it's Emma 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 Emma. And because it's not her birthday <laughs> so tutaimba tu. Uh, tutaimba kijumla jumla happy birthday dear viewer. Sasa oh. mtaimba kwa ujumla yeah. and then kutoka hapo tuingia Leo at least si ni mwakuangalia. Yeah. So ni happy birthday dear viewer. Mm. Yeah, so Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Viva. Happy birthday to you. Nibo. So take it from the top. Times two. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Viva. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, so kwa kwa ya kunanisha siku yako ya
kuzaliwa leo tunasema tarehe ngapi leo leo ni tarehe 10 leo ni 10 eh okay. 10 okay Oh, oh, we are back. All right. Uh, tulikuwa tunaongea when we are, we were not back. Tulikuwa tunasema aje. Mwenye anaadhimisha siku yake ya kuzaliwa. Happy 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 birthday to you. Alafu sasa kabla kuondoka sisi tulikuwa tunawaacha na today's inspiration. Alafu ndivyo Emma and the band wachukuu sukani. But sasa tukimalizia nyimbo zako kwa mtu ambaye angetaka kuwasiliana nawe na kitu kingine chochote ambacho ungetaka kukisema. The flow is yours. At Emma Omonge across all social media mm -hmm. handles and nataka kushukuru sana wewe ambao unanitazama and my fan wao nasema ni family mm. sababu you've partnered with God to to make sure I rise to where I am today because unasikiliza the nyimbo mm -hmm. unazisambaza you stream them live on Spotify on iTunes and wherever spaces and the numbers are very encouraging wow so nashukuru sana kwamba umepartner na Mungu kuweza kuwa baraka kwa maisha yangu kama bila kwa baraka kwa maisha zenu. Mm. So nawashukuru sana. Yeah. Na leo nakuombe nataka niombee mtu kwamba Mungu that God will give you people that will take a risk to support and stand with what God has put inside your life. You know David wanting to drink water from the well of Bethlehem. Bible says he had three people. Ambao alisema kama mfalme anataka kunywa maji from that particular well we will get it despite the Philistines kuwa wabaya. Mm. So walipochota maji kumleta Daudi, Biblia inasema kwamba Daudi akasema, uh, I can't drink this water. Maana kile kitu alimtu akuwa anapigana wengine wakichota. Akasema I can't drink this water. Kwa nini it's not water, it is your blood because you've risked your life. So I pray for someone today that the Lord will bring you people that are willing to give up their resources, their time to make sure that your God's agenda iko na ina find expression. Mm. Na kuombea kwamba your troop your army will not faint or turn away in the day of trouble. Mm. Amen. Solomon says in Proverbs, you know he's a life coach. Yes. He teaches us the advantages of life. Akasema, unreliable friend is like a toothache in the middle of the night. Why? <laughs> I have a Bible and I'm going to Yeah. I'm going to be able to Yeah. So, unreliable friend yani uko na marafiki ambao huwezi tegemeo Biblia inasema ni you can compare kama umewahi kuona na jini unajua that pain yeah. so unreliable friend na kai mm. so nakuombea mtu Mungu kwamba kupe mtu ambao unaweza tegemea amen akikwaidi a akujikwaidi tena z wakati hajatimiza mm -hmm. anakuida akiza kutimiza so i pray that god gives you people that are going to be sold out in your ministry in your life in your amen. vision in whatever thing that you are doing mm. yes. and the lord bless you and i Love you guys so much. Wow. Right. Amazing. So, Mesema, across package. all the media, at Emma uh, Emma media yes, at Emma Omonge, right. Kila Mahali. Yes. Akuna nicknames, you know. <laughs> it's too Emma. late for nicknames. Yeah. At Emma yeah. There you go. So, Dari yangu ya kesho. Tuambie. Aya, ndakuwa na kwenye SNS. Kesho ni TBT Saturday because it's the second Saturday of the month. Okay. Alafu mujue, kamiti tutakuwa na yeye next month. Tukifanya nini? TBT. Yeye akiwa na Jimmy J. Yeah. So how are we? Nita wakumbusha, nita wakumbusha. Tukiwa na David King na E, the DJ. Then after that, tutakuwa na the right show. So make sure you join us. Tukona topic bomba kabisa. So you cannot miss it. From 6 till uh, around 7.30, 7.50, tutakuwa na we hapo. Then the segments hapo ndani. Wezi kosa. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tupatani kesho majaliwa. There you go. Yes. So mimi nami tutakuwa tunakutana na wewe siku ya Jumapili 8:30 pm yeah, katika makala ya uhalisia sehemu ya pili uh, tukiwa na skofu getao sehemu ya kwanza ilikuwa vile ambavyo katika miaka ile ya nyuma sana miaka sabini huko nyuma vile ambavyo Mungu aliweza kujidhihirisha kwa njia iliyo kubwa mpaka na mtu akafufuka mtu ambaye hospitali imempea mama maiti ikamwambia sasa huyu nenda kazike yule mama akamwambia mume wake kabla ya kwenda kuzika Si mchungaji alisema siku ya Jumapili ya kwamba hata Mungu akipelekewa maiti anaweza kafufua yes. twende kwa hiyo pasta. Walienda kwake saa 8 usiku akabisha mlango. Wakasema ndio sisi tumekuja na mtoto ndo huyo amekufa. Mm -hmm. Huyo mtoto alikuwa anaitwa si Ezekiel jina limepotea. Wakati ambapo mtumishi wa Mungu alipoomba Steve. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much David King. Wakati ambapo aliweza kufufuka. <laughs> yani ilikuwa ni jambo la muujiza zaidi. And later also the son uh, to this man of God, Pia Naya, akangua kutoka kwenye mti, akangua kwa kichwa, Pia Naya mambo ikando hivo. They prayed, na mungu wakamregeshia uhai. Amen. Sasa, part two, 
Kuwezi kosa. But we gonna several parts. Ndiyo. Uandishi wake wa vitabu, maswala ambayo yanaenda na familia. Uh-huh. Alisema yeye kwa miaka 50. Mhm ambayo amekuwa na mke wake kwenye ndoa hajawahi mwambia i love you imagine akasema unajua ni kwa nini because i don't need to tell my wife what she already knows because through my actions she knows that i love her imagine akarudi akasema eh kuna tofauti niseme hiyo sema hiyo niliona kama wewe na nani mlichukua person ah ah usiku usiku hivyo niseme David King, David King. Wewe <laughs> ndo wa kuchangia hapo. <laughs> Acha ni sisebe. I'm telling you part two. Make sure me watch. Yes, and then he spoke also about the revival. Mm-hmm. Na akasema ya kwamba Mungu alimnenea kamili kamili wakati ambapo alikuwa mgonjwa sana, yes. wakati ambapo mpaka mara nyingi alikuwa unconscious, but in that state Mungu aka akamzungumzia akamwambia kwamba sitakutukua kabla haujaona uvuvio. Yes. You know, na akasema mambo mengi sana. Kuna kitu kimoja ambacho alisema acha nitaje hapa. Uh-huh. Akasema katika miaka ile ya nyuma. Yes. In this country. Mhm. Ati kuna makanisa baadhi ambayo watu wangeenda wana, wanaomba, mm-hmm. wanaabudu, wanaimba. Yeah. Wakitoka wameenda. Mm. They have gone like us. Kila, kila mtu ameenda home. Eh. Ati if there was someone labda alikuwa ni mgonjwa anaingia katika lile kanisa. Mm. Akikuja tu kwa madhabahu tu, akishika hivi in the absence of people anapona, anapona. because the presence of god was so yes busy. akasema aliona hivi mambo yanafanyika miujiza mikubwa yes. akasema kwamba mungu aliyefanya wakati huo yes. ndio yule yule ambaye habadiliki yes. akasema kwamba is all about now the church in kenya to, to align herself yes okay yes. so that now when the presence of god comes down anapata watu ambao wako ready wako ready yeah. lakini wakati ambapo we are busy competing we are busy uh, so much we, noise. we are busy trying to outshine who you yeah. we are busy competition you know, exactly Apo. na kujadili mambo ambayo hayana muhimu haitashuka sasa unaona sisi ndio tunafanya that process ya revival in a delay it take time so it's all about uh, you know being Alright. aligned so i believe ya kwamba it will be an eye opening part 2 8:30 pm yes. kindly don't miss na utaweza kubarikiwa and then kwa raush kwa mande Niko na moja tena ingine ya kuongeza. Okay. Leo Friday 8:30 PM tutakuwa na repeat ya Meet the HR. Meet the HR. Na tulikuwa na Paul Kagi. So yeah. kama unamsikenga kwa radio na haujai muona, mm. make sure me tune in. Exactly. Rafiki mzuri sana wa kamiti. Mm. Kidogo kamiti alitajwa hapo ndani. So kamiti pia ya, make sure you tune in. Yeah. Make sure you go and watch. Huyo tumetoka naye mbali sana. <laughs> so tukitoka hapa tunakwenda Ruaraka yes. kwa sababu ya makala uhalisia. Naam. Lakini ndivyo tuache Emma Omunge and the band wakitumalizia mm. katika session ambayo imesalia yes. and now may the grace of, of our lord jesus, jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen and just remind you ni kwamba from monday na tusisahau kule kitengela i'm coming to you yes. uh, kule kitengela yes ni kitengela tukiwa hapa kitengela iko wapi by the way oh, iko na ile yeah. side nyingine exactly iko oh. nyuma Yes, oh. kitengela. Ni uko ama uko? Eh, ni uko. Hey. Hey. Kuanzia Jumatatu ah. kutakuwa na mkutano wa maombi kule. Yes. Watumishi wa Mungu wakiongoza mm. Apostle John Kimani William atakuwa na huduma huko kwa hiyo. Make sure ya kwamba next week tutakutana kule. Yes. Is a possibility. Very na much a possibility. Na, you know. <laughs> na huko. Eh mwaka blu sawa kwenye ulikuwa nataka kusema. Nataka tushukuru PCG ambao wametuhusu ah, yes. leo. Mm, oh. Tunashukuru sana kwa sababu wametuhusu. Asante yeah. sana. Wametupa yeah. yeah. madhabahu, yeah. tumia. Yeah. Mungu awabariki. Yeah. Pamoja na kiongozi wao ambao mm. ni nabii Joseph Bahati. Yes. Mungu awabariki. Anaweza kutukubalia. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So Emma Omonge and the band now the floor is yours.
Watuwe kachineke Nagiri mae 